Hey y'all, it's your boy Yao and Dan Bede of DW Collectibles. Um, went to go record the first set of this video, didn't go well, uh, the file got corrupted. Um, but I want to go through and at least get some ripping open. So this is a series called Let It Rip. And I'm just going to get various wax from, you know, all different locations. I won these two and some razzes. Um, I have a box of Hobby Optic coming. Probably have a box of first off the line coming from either Prism 2000, 2020 football or whether I'm going to rip 2020, 2021 basketball. I really don't want to. I just don't think that there's any value in it. You know, you're chasing after just maybe a mellow. I mean, again, I like all the other guys. I like Halliburton. I like Bay. I love Maxi. Obviously, he's a sixer. Um, but I just don't think you can get your value out of that. And again, you know, I'm doing this because I like this and this is fun for me. And I love cards. But at the end of the day, I have to be able to make enough money to be able to recoup this because I just don't have infinite money. Um, you know, spend a lot of money ripping all of this NFL stuff. But, you know, look, you get stuff like this and, uh, you know, that makes it all worth it. So here's my lucky Herbie. Hopefully you can bring me some luck for this. We got a 2020, 2021 uh, hoops pack uh, that gets these cards. Unfortunately, I did the other rips on these, so I'll go over the hits of those. Um, but obviously, we are seeking out Lamellos here, and hopefully there's some sort of numbered Lamello. I don't think that you can get signatures out of here, but you can get blue and red parallels out of here. So lucky Herbie. Put them right over here. And let's go over the last hits. So uh, there's one mem in each of the boxes that I opened, and this one was a uh, precious Achua. Um, obviously, if, if Bam goes down, he gets some playing time. He actually played pretty well when Bam was uh, out, and it's pretty nice. It's a holiday sweater type. I mean, it does kind of feel like a sweater, so it's kind of hilarious. And then a Zeke Naj from the Nuggets, Rise and Shine. You know, these patches are like meh, because again, you're not going to get multicolor. They're not from any particular specific player game or event like uh, you know it's nothing to be excited about um some some good hits though i mean again these these boxes are not that expensive so you know if you're you know a dad getting back into the hobby and you want your kid to do it or if you're just getting back into the hobby like i was these are very economical um like this was very expensive but i want it cheap so you know you can get this the the optic is another option if you're into football that you can get cheap but these things just get ridiculous the prism box that i was talking about for nba is gonna be three thousand dollars very soon i might be able to get it for 2200 right now but that's like even pulling the trigger on that it's just it's really hard everyone's struggling so anyway this is a really cool way to get into it so let's go over these so Sadiq Bey I think is going to be an incredible player I thought he was the best shooter in the draft and he still might be the best shooter outside of maybe Halliburton this dude can play I was he was never getting to the Sixers but I wanted him so bad nothing against Maxi. he's my boy um we've got Ja and Zion Kind of cool jersey swap card. Again, I, you know, this is just something that I just want to have for me. You know, it's a cool little moment. Obi Toppin could, you know, could be Nick's finest uh, one day. Again, he's got all the tools. He was a demon in college. And he's a New York guy, you know, just like I was. Luca, you know, you never go wrong with the Luca. One, this, this parallel arriving now, Anthony Edwards. Man, if he ever could put it together, man, his athleticism is freakish like i don't know if you saw him uh pretty much baptize uh one tabi from the uh i think he's on the raptors Whew, man that's one of the greatest dunks i've ever seen in my life this kid really has like really every the athletic profile is everything he could be whatever he wants to be he can get a consistent jumper Whew, it's gonna be a terror luca base frequent flyers and this is a little bit of a refractor um, for Funny Guy himself, another Sadiq Bay, and I can't tell whether these are different. I think they're all gold, but Frequent Flyers Goat, a base Anthony Edwards, which is obviously what we really want to see. Emmanuel Quigley, who I am very, very big on. I've, I've watched a lot of his games. Again, I'm out here in, uh, in Jersey, so, you know, you can everything's pretty much you know you're going to turn on msg and you can see the knicks but i like watching this kid play he's got a little he's got a little game to him vince man i remember this dunk man he was just lighting the nba up he was one of my favorite players luca 
Patrick Williams, number four pick. Again, you know, he wasn't he hasn't been that great. But again, when you're a low pick, they've got high expectations. So hopefully the Bulls do something. You know, Levine's not really a great fit over there. And I think Levine's going to be good on, on a team. I just don't know if Bulls is that team. Halliburton, obviously, is what we want to see. Number Duncan Robinson to 75. Tyrese Maxey, my boy. Um, this is a blue. Another quickly. Another Edwards, and I didn't want to bury the lead, but got ourselves a mellow. So, you know, those that, that, that those two boxes that I had, again, you know, I got them for like 25-ish a pop. You really can't go wrong with that. I definitely made my money back. Um, it was just cool, too. You know, I want to be able to rip for you guys. I want to be able to do all this individualized stuff, so... Um, let's get these other boxes open, though. That's what everyone's here for, right? You don't want to hear the just my musings without any sort of boxes. And yeah, let me get the apparatus out. We'll open this first, then we'll open the prism. You know, I'm really hoping for something big. Um, you know, obviously, Herbie hunting my man's right here. Um, but you know, right now, I'm really kind of hurts hunting. I really think that he's the guy that's going to make the leap out of that class. Um, you know, obviously, uh, Herbert's going to be the best out of all of them, in my opinion. But, jeez, could uh, could he make a leap? I mean, I think Hertz can make the biggest leap out of all of them from where he is now. <clears throat> all right. Bunch of packs. Here's the box. Exclusive blue and red parallels for the blaster. So we can get hollows, remembrances, frequent flyers, vanity play, plates, and various other hollows. So no signature. Again, that's fine. This is not an expensive box. Let's go to pack number one. Tendrick Nunn, Tori Treg, Christian Wood. It's too bad he's been injured. He was going to be a uh, most improved player candidate. Chris Dunn. Andrew Wiggins, T Mac. Oh man, he was so good. Kobe, Kobe always talked about he was one of the only players he just could never figure out. Kira Lewis, who I think could be good in a while, and Precious making another appearance. Sorry about that. It's kind of hard looking through my phone and then opening. Feels like I'm doing this from outside of my body. Donovan Mitchell, man, he does not get enough love. Like, he, his team is first in the West. He is playing great. And, you know, when you have a full team, you're not going to have, like, tremendous stats. But they're just, they're good, man. They can go real far if they try. John Wall. Jason Tatum. I don't know if you knew. He's 19. Pat Bev. Middleton. Draymond Green in a blue. Mr. Uh, triple Double with everything but points himself. Put that over here. Ah, Zeke Naj makes another appearance. And, ooh, that's what we were looking for. James Wiseman. Man, he is, uh, he gives me like a more athletic, uh, maybe like a, like white side. I, I don't know. I, I'm not, I'm not completely sure about his game. Um, but he is, he can be dominant if he wants. Cody. Basley. CJ, Chris Taps, JJ, Tatum, again, only 19, Jaden McDaniels, man, there are so many Hornets rookies, not the one we are looking for, guys, not the one we are looking for, um, so, yeah, that's really disappointing, <laughs> sometimes I like to see, uh, a lot more, of the uh, just mellows, but you're not going to get them every pack. Cam Johnson, TJ Warren, pay me in Bitcoin. Ah, the goat. Austin Rivers. <sighs> oh, man, I thought it was a little mellow. Thanks, Grant Riller. <sighs> Okongwu. And Saban Lee. I was saying in the video that got deleted, I'm really surprised by Saban Lee's performance. 
um, when DSJ, Dennis Smith Jr., was out. And, uh, you know, he could, he could be a pretty good player going forward. I feel bad for Killian Hayes because, again, you know, it's always the job to lose in the NBA. And he just started out and he's already kind of injury prone. Uh, Saban could take his job. MPJ, Sextown, Pay the Bag Man, No Achilles, Sixer now, Dwight, uh, No Achilles Part 2, Jalen Smith and Denny. A lot of people were super high on Denny, talking about he's a Luka prototype and... You know, these foreign players, they did that all the time. I don't know if you remember in when the Sixers were rebuilding, we did the whole stash Dario Saric overseas for all these years because he'll be great. Yeah, he's, he's, he can't even start for the Suns. Davis Bertans. Bam. Brick City. Giannis. Thaddeus. JJ. Isaiah Stewart. And Nawara. Hopefully you guys are enjoying some March Madness right now. Um, you know, I know I don't have a lot of viewers, but if you want to tell me who you think is going to be the best of the 21 NBA draft, you can put it in the comments below. Um, I think it's going to be Cade, but again, we'll see. When I was just had the TV on, he just picked up his third foul, so we'll see. Jaron, Ingles, Sideshow Bob, Hayward, Luca Plate. Somebody feed this man a cheeseburger. And Bokoro. Not too bad, not too bad. You know, let's leave something desired. This has the mem in it, so I'm going to set that to the side right over here on top of uh, T-Mac. And T-Mac's another one. Like I wish that a bunch of people had gotten a ring in their career, but obviously when you spend most of the last... 30 years with three guys being in the the finals every year. You know, the, the finals every year were Jordan, Braun, or Duncan, <laughs> or Kobe, right? Like that's, you know, the NBA does not have a, a tremendous amount of parity. Um, so I feel bad for guys like VC and T-Mac and AI, you know, my favorite player of all time. Like they all could have had rings um, just in a different era. Drummond, Lonnie, DeAndre Ayton. It, it is going to be a trope for me going forward, but DeAndre Ayton has caused me so much pain in daily fantasy sports. He literally cost me probably $100,000 because he could not get one rebound in seven minutes. This is not a joke. Uh, for you, those of you who don't play daily fantasy sports, in, in some of the websites like DraftKings, when you get a double-double, you get extra points. And so I was uh, less than three points away from the first place. And all I needed him to do was get a rebound. He was the last game. There was nobody ahead of me. He did not get a rebound for seven minutes. So, sorry, DeAndre Ayton. I should toss you, but don't want to be disrespectful. Tobias, Kira Lewis. Oh, this is cool. I like this. This little profile. Wow. Ah, there we go. It's your boy. Man, I'm really high on Max. He's a really high energy kid. If you go on YouTube, they talk about his worth ethic. And again, that's the type of guy that I want on my team, especially someone that we got mid to late round that obviously is not going to get a lot of playing time to go in. You know, he's got to be behind Seth Curry. He's got to be behind Danny Green. You know, Danny Green is just the experience that, that we're going to need going on a deep playoff run. But pretty soon, this kid Tyrese Maxey, I mean, just watch out. Believe me, the Desmond Bain. I need a class on YouTube ripping. I'm doing bad. Jimmy Buckets. I miss you, Jimmy. I miss you. Okay, sorry. Uh, Will Barton. Laurie. Draymond Green. I said this in the other video, but I guess I'll just recycle my jokes. Uh, he's Mr. Uh, Triple Double with no points. KCP, Jersey Exchange, Bam and Donovan Mitchell. That's kind of cool. And then rookies, Naismith and Obi. You can get stomped by Obi. And finally, for this box, Dylan, 
Bojan, Thomas Bryant, Fun Guy, George Hill, Gay, Green, Killian. And so let's get that mem out of the way, and then we'll open the real, real, real box. Hopefully we get a hit out of that. If not, I could just, I'll just stare at my Herbert all night. Mello, man, just... So, again, this is not going to be my intention for this channel yet, but, you know, he's in the same year as LeBron. I think all of the other people in the same year as LeBron are severely underpriced. You're talking about Dwayne Wade, who's arguably one of the best defensive guards of all time. He's very high up in block steals and all these other things. Won a lot of finals in an era where... He, teams not named the Lakers or the Spurs or the Bulls went to the finals. And then for Carmelo, I think he just eclipsed 10th in all-time scoring. He may be the most versatile scorer of that era. Uh, he's still doing it. You know, Zion had a, an interview where they talked about, like, what was the first time in the NBA you saw greatness? And I don't know if you remember that video where Carmelo gives him the jab step and then, you know, kind of gets him up in the air and everything. That's what he said the first time. And it's true. Carmelo, one of the goats. Devontae Graham, many fell off the face of the earth. Sergey Ibaka, Luca. <sighs> oh my God. Say good boy. This is nice though. Braun Braun. And then the two rookies in the pack. Cassius Stanley and Ramsey. Alright, I mean, those are little fun boxes. You know, I, I think I got my money's worth, at least for the, the fun of it. You know, got to a little talk a little mess with you guys. Um, got some decent cards. You know, I don't know. You know, probably outside of the mellow and the you know the big four or five players that you know everybody really wants i don't think that there's really a ton with resale value but let's get down to the get down come on herbert let's go let's go let's go lucky herbert okay prism i think this is the team all uh but anyway it's got one autograph per box you can get the neon green pulsar prisms and there's going to be 10 rookies in this box on average. And then two of these greens. So really the nuts is a green rookie auto. And I will take any of the big four. So, uh, but I really do want Herbert. So let us get this bad boy open. And uh, good luck to me. This should be quick. It's only uh, 10 packs, only four cards. So we'll get to this. We'll recap that hit. And then I will bid everyone adieu for now. Empty box here. Let me uh, see if this will sit on this without moving it. Cool. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cool. Let's get going, y'all. For real, Max? For real? You gonna do me like this? On my first break? Live on YouTube? It's not live. It's not live. Yep. Okay. Sam Darnold? Probably going to be, I don't know, Patriot maybe. Brian Dawkins, one of the greats. Harrison Smith and rookie Christian Fulton. And I'll sleep up whatever is big later. I don't want to bore you guys with all of that mess. <clears throat> Kaylin Bellage. Blake Jarwin. A, a Ron MVP and Chase Young. All right, I'll take that. I'll put that over. I'll put these things up here that are 
good hits. Just leave that up in a little bit. One day, one day I will get this technique down. This one feels maybe it's something. We'll see. Paris Campbell. To, sorry, Dalvin Thomason. Let you go to the Vikings of all teams. Mike Vick, one of the goats. Ooh, it's your boy, Jalen. Um, so now he looks all right. Maybe a little top heavy. Yeah, it's top heavy. And you can tell, I've been looking at these a lot. You know, you can tell there's a lot of space right here, like you see under this Philadelphia Eagles piece, and just not a lot of it up there. So probably sell this raw, send it over to Starstock. Don't know if that's, okay, that was just dust on my end. But cool, great. I can never have too many hurts. And, I'll, and when we get the greens, I'll put the greens to a side. So, you know, get some sort of, uh... oh, this is something. Get right to the rookie, Mems. Mems, this is why I'm hot. This is why I'm hot. This is why. This is why. This is why I'm hot. Philip Rivers, Terrell Williams. Well, that kills the <laughs> that kills the entire uh, suspense of it all. <laughs> they flipped it over. Don't worry, y'all. I'll get it together. For the, for the first off-the-line optic or prism, I'll be much better. I promise. Oh, here's our green. So I will put this off to the side. Let's see what we got for these. We got one more green and the auto. So hopefully it's a green auto rookie quarterback named Burrow Hurts to a uh, Herbert. Miles Jack, Bryce Love, Joe, Joe Montaigne, Jake from, oh man, what a tough break for Jake. Now he's got a, oh man, who is on the bills? It'll come to me, but he's definitely not going to be, uh, oh, Mitch, Mitch Trubiscuit. So tough run, real tough run, buddy. Do I have any color in this one? Nope. Okay. It's probably a combine guy, though. What it from would look like. Watt. Kirk. DJ Moore Hype. Igbo Henne. Igbinoke Henne. Cool beans. Three left. Can't feel anything different. So this one feels kind of thin. So maybe this is the auto. I don't know if that's accurate. That's not scientific at all. Um, Mark Andrews, what a disappointing fantasy season he had. Me, Cole Hardman. Go hard, go home. Joshy Boy. And Brandon Ayuk. That's a cool, it's a cool rookie to have. And then put the insert over here. And rest assured, I do have sleeves. So, don't worry. Everything will get sleeved up. I'm not going to ruin any of the cards. Just saw the second green, so that's going to go over here. Is that the same guy on both? No, this is a... Oh, they're both browns. How convenient. And hopefully this is not the auto, so that way we know we have a green auto. But, let's see anyway. And if you're uh, if you've been staying with me thus far, thank you. This is really awesome. I'm really uh, excited to be doing a little bit of contact content, little fun things here and there. Um, you can catch me on Instagram on uh, DW Collectibles and on Twitter Collectibles underscore DW. I'm gonna have little fun things like this a lot. You know, figure if I'm gonna open stuff, I might as well open it with all of you guys to be able to see it. Come with me and see if I have any sort of big hits, or if I brick, I brick. But you'll be able to see it. Eddie Jackson, Traquan, yeah, this is the auto. Oh, oh, <laughs> Mark Ingram, and of course, not the Charger we want. 
I'm not even going to sleeve you up right now, Mark Ingram. You disappoint me. Could've, I would have taken J.K. Dobbins. So, hopefully we had a nice green something. Hooper. Evans. Uh, it's not a rookie. Antonio Gandy golden Yep, 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 yep. And... Njoku. All right, y'all. Last pack that I put to the side, Mojo. Let's just be a rookie. Come on. And it is not the rookie. <laughs> uh, Baker Mayfield. Keelan Doss. Jelani Tavai. And Kyle Duggar. Well, I mean, that's what you that's what you get for opening up boxes. You know, this is why boxes on the whole aren't very profitable. So, um, thank you guys for joining. Um, again, you know, I don't really have to go through the recap. You were watching it. But, you know, for this box, it's really just the Hertz, um, some various other stuff. And then for the other box, we got a Mellow. So, you know, really, when you think about it, this is really all that I got out of it. I didn't pay a lot for these boxes. So, these are kind of cool. Um, the Mellow looks decent so maybe i'll encapsulate that send it in for psa but the hertz is off center so i'll keep that maybe sell it raw um i'll be back to go through another series where i'm herbie hunting um so you'll see some more of this uh prism product some more optic product and i'll see you next time peace guys